the gem homeworld was ruled by diamonds. The smallest of these was pink. While other diamonds conquered many worlds, pink only had earth. She made a new home, and new friends. She gave up her form to bequeath her gem to her half-human son. Without pink, gemkind entered an era of despair, lasting until Stephen discovered his true heritage and reunited with his fellow diamonds. Now, years later, he's ready to take his rightful place on Pink Diamond's throne. Stephen thanks them, but appreciates the home he has with his gem friends, Garnet, Amethyst, and Pearl. As much as he would love to sit on a throne and save all their planets, he just can't wait to go home. They beg him to stay, because he's all they have left of Pink. He reminds them so much of Pink, even though he's not her. They insist they've done everything he asked, but he just tells them to keep up the good work, before going home. He greets Connie, who is going to space camp instead of hanging out with him. He tries to tempt her to stay but instead, she kisses his cheek goodbye. He tells her to tell her friends that space used to be scary, but now it's cool, thanks to him. He sings a song about how they're living happily ever after, having accomplished all their adventures and gem learning. He saved the galaxy. He greets Pearl and his father, while he teaches her to play bass. She sings a song about when she and Pink snuck to Earth. Steven jumps into his lion to take a shortcut into town, but tells his dad he'll be back for the concert later. He meets Garnet, who sings about when she came to Earth, as two different gems, Sapphire and Ruby. Sapphire could see the future, and Ruby was her soldier. When her life was in danger, Ruby jumped in to save Sapphire, causing the two gems to fuse together. It was beautiful, strange, and confusing. Steven takes the warp to pay a visit to Amethyst. Friends let them know that they're working on the newest installation, which means Little Homeworld is nearly complete. Amethyst is glad other gems want to make Earth their homeworld now, and she reflects on how lost she felt when she first came into existence. She's glad to have found her place with Steven, Garnet, and Pearl. Steven never wants things to change, but that's not how life works. A strange new enemy appears, vowing to ruin their happily ever after. She is someone from Pink and Pearl's past, but Pearl doesn't get a chance to explain before she, Garnet, and Amethyst are temporarily destroyed. This crazed stretchy girl hit Steven several times, but he still manages to poof her, just like she did to the others. He tries putting her gem in a safe bubble, but his own powers don't work right anymore. His dad comes in, and assures him things will return to normal, like they always do. But when Pearl reboots, so to speak, she greets Greg Universe as if she's never met him before, and vows to dedicate her life to him, for giving her life. He's extremely confused, even before Ruby reappears, and says Steven is not her assignment. Sapphire says they aren't likely to last another day, and ushers Ruby to leave with her. Amethyst reboots and she can only copy whatever Steven says. The memory-wiped Pearl even knows something is wrong here, because Ruby soldiers usually come in threes or more, and Amethysts are supposed to be big and strong. No one recognizes Steven, not even Spinel, the one that caused all this to happen. Instead, she believes she's Steven's best friend. Spinel doesn't even recognize her own ship, so Steven wonders what to do without his friends. Then he remembers Bismuth, Lapis, and Peridot. Ruby, Sapphire, and Spinel join Steven on his trip to Little Homeworld. Steven recalls that Spinel told him his human half wouldn't stand a chance against her injector, but they don't know what that means. They deduce that her weapon is called a rejuvenator. This type of weapon was used on gems who stepped out of line, because it brought them back to their factory settings, so to speak. They wonder how Steven survived it, but he didn't really. His human half didn't poof, but he can barely control his powers, as if he hasn't learned a thing. Steven misses his friends already, fearing he'll never know them again, but Bismuth sings him a song to remind him he's not alone, and they can figure this out. Spinel gives Steven the idea to present his friends with pieces of their past, to help them remember who they are. Steven tries to get Sapphire and Ruby to fuse again, but he doesn't have it in him to make it a real threat. Since Sapphire predicts the future, she must know she is about to pass away before Ruby will rescue her and potentially fuse. Sapphire predicts mass destruction, all because of Spinel and the saw. Before Ruby is gone as Sapphire predicted, she saves her, and they fuse, becoming Garnet. Steven is relieved and catches her up to date, pleading for her help, but she doesn't know him, or what he's talking about. Steven's dad returns, admitting he lost Amethyst while fighting over his laundry with Pearl. She's cleaning his rims, even though he owns a car wash. Bismuth agrees to watch Garnet while Steven goes to look for Amethyst. He tries to leave Spinel there, but we get a glimpse into her dark side before he changes his mind. Through singing, he has a good time with Amethyst, who at the end of the day, remembers their handshake and transforms back into herself. Steven updates her on what's happened, and they notice the effect Spinel's injector is having on the ground. It's bio-poison. They have 41 hours to stop it, 
before it destroys all organic life on Earth. Steven tries to use his super strength to move it, but it doesn't budge. It might explode or inject the poison faster if they touch it, so they must find a way to move it without touching it. Amethyst and the others suggest that Steven bring back the old spinel, so she can tell them how to shut it off. Steven thinks it's a terrible idea, but they'd have to talk to Pearl, since she knew Spinel. Pearl declined their request at first, because she's in the service of Greg Universe. He's still trying to plan the concert for that night, but Steven insists the most important thing they need to focus on is saving Earth. He knows they need to remind Pearl of who she was, so she must do something rebellious with Greg, since she rebelled with Pink all those years ago. Amethyst says there's no better option than to continue with the rock concert. Pearl doesn't seem to be paying attention to anything or anyone except Greg, even when Amethyst shapeshifts into pink, Pearl doesn't flinch. As long as Greg exists, she will serve him. Steven and his dad fuse on stage, to make him cease to exist for a moment. Their rebellious rock performance gets Pearl to remember all that she's been through, and who she's become. She fuses with Amethyst, and flies overhead with fused Steven and Greg. When they land, Steven is not doing well at all, but he only asks Pearl what she knows about Spinel. She used to be Pink's playmate, and they were always out in the garden, but Pearl has no idea why she would have it out for them, and assumes something must have happened to her in the 6,000 years since then. Stephen vows to find out what. Garnet arrives on the lion, and even though they all believe Stephen should rest, he leaves to find Spinel. He tells Lion to bring Connie back to help. Stephen comforts Spinel when he finds her fighting off her old memories. He tells her they might all meet their end if she doesn't remember, and he needs her help. He asks her if she remembers the garden, and it makes her feel a lot all at once. She brings him to the actual garden, where she spent time with his mom. She didn't realize Pink was drifting away, longing for more, until she was given her own planet to look after. Pink told her they were going to play a game in the garden, like they always did, but this time she only told her to stand there. Then, she left for Earth to start her new life. Spinel stood there, for thousands of years, waiting and wondering if she was playing the game right. It wasn't until Stephen's broadcast that she knew Pink was gone, only survived by her son. Stephen convinces her to come back to Earth with him, so she can start her life over. Back on Earth, Stephen asks her for a favor, and she agrees to do anything. After she stops the injector, Stephen thanks her, and moves on to what else needs to be done, like getting Garnet's memory and his powers back. Spinel is very upset to hear that, and starts to wonder what fate awaits her. She thinks Stephen will abandon her the first chance he gets, because she's not exactly a pleasant reminder for him to have around. He wants her to forget about it because it suits him, but he doesn't really care about her or want to be her friend. She refuses to be gotten rid of that easily, and takes Garnet hostage. She points out how protective Stephen is of her, and thinks he only tolerated her until she could help him fix his problems. Even though she wants Stephen to prove her right by attacking her or expressing his hate, he refuses, and says it's not the truth. This triggers memories for Garnet, whose life lessons all come flooding back to her. She battles with Spinel, telling her she's just caught between shame and fear, and is trying to blame them for something they didn't do. She isn't convinced, though, and jumps up to her injector, shooting the rest of it out. The gems and brave humans fight to rescue others, while Steven, without his powers, fights to get up to Spinel to talk with her. It doesn't go well. Spinel says that at first, she just wanted to come to Earth to take out her anger on a bunch of strangers, but now that she knows him, she wants to destroy him even more. In Steven's frustration, he wonders why his powers aren't back yet. He comments that he's back to where he started, but then he remembers one of the first lessons he ever learned. Life is change. He had to change, in order to grow, and happily ever after can't remain the same, because there's always room for growth. His powers return, but Spinel swears that he can't change how she feels no matter how much he sings, but he already knows that. He asks her to change how she feels. She could make a change, to make a difference in her life, and it all starts with her, tonight. She creates a giant fist to smash him down, sick of all the singing. Since she wasn't good enough for Pink, she became bitter and hateful. Feeling this way, she asks Steven if he actually liked her when her memory was gone. Then she stops trying to hurt him, and wonders why she wants to so badly when all she wants is a friend. Steven puts down his shield, but only says her name before their platform explodes. Steven made a safe bubble, and saved Spinel as well. When she realizes it's all over, she says she's sorry. Connie finally reunites with Steven, and he tells Spinel he'll be right back, for real. Steven uses his healing powers on his father and the earth, one spot at a time. Spinel starts walking away, saying she's got a lot of work to do. Suddenly, the other diamonds visit earth, telling Steven they'd like to live with him. Steven isn't sure how that'll work, but he introduces them to Spinel, and they remember her from all those years ago, playing with Pink. 
since she reminds them of her, they love her. They take a look around, and don't find Earth quite to their liking, which gives them an idea. They invite Spinel to stay with them and keep them company, just like she did for Pink. Spinel agrees to try to love again, feeling as though the diamonds are her chance at redemption. Thankfully, Stephen's happily ever after is restored, and he gave Spinel a chance at a better life, too. Now Stephen knows that although things change, it's up to him to adapt and keep a positive mindset.